Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. Listen, y'all, I need y'all help, okay? Well, not really help, but I want to know something. I want, I want you guys to give me your input on this question that I have. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all the video um, of a missing mother that's in Florida. Okay, she's been missing since the first part of November. Um, the last person seeing her from what I see is her daughter. But anyway, um, I just want you to tell me what y'all, what you guys think about this because I'm kind of, it's the, it's the body language for me that I pay attention to a lot of stuff and I don't know. I'm not really anticipating on nothing, but I just want you guys to tell me what y'all think about this, um, situation. If your mother was missing, how would you respond? I know everybody responds different, so it's not really that I could say that the response is whatever, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I, I seen another video on the news this morning. So it prompted me to go back and do a little bit of research. And every video that I see, um, I don't know. Just just let me know what y'all think, and then we'll talk about this. I'm gonna come live and we'll talk about it. But right now, I want I'm gonna drop the video, and I want you guys to tell me what do you think. Um, how would you respond if your mother was missing? Um, like I said, everybody handles things different, and we all know that. But I'm just curious to know. I'm just curious to know. How would you act? You know, especially for almost a month. Um, it's crazy the way it even went down. But okay, I, let me know. I'm, I'll see you guys in the comments. A Mount Dora mother of three has not been seen in nearly a month. Her oldest daughter is very worried, and today a line of crime scene units as a woman's home was searched for clues to her disappearance. Well, she's Dave McDaniel is live in the Lancaster neighborhood, and Dave, you spoke with the missing woman's family. That's right. I did speak with the oldest daughter, and as you mentioned, she's extremely worried about her missing mother. As for this law enforcement activity in the neighborhood, there's just one crime scene unit after another here along the side of the street. And again, the Mount Dora Police Department is saying what this is is they are actively engaged in the search for this missing mother without saying specifically what they're looking for. It's just very heartbreaking. That's my best friend. And the oldest daughter of 41-year-old Nicole Baldwin hasn't seen her since November 2nd. We're almost like best friends a little bit, so for her to go missing like this and not text me, contact me, all of her belongings are at the house. Baldwin's a mother of three. Alicia's 20, but has a brother who is 14 and an 11-year-old sister. For instance, right now, I have her Apple Watch on, you know, just little things I'm trying to keep to hold on to her, but I honestly have no idea, and I'm very worried about her well-being. A line of crime scene investigation trucks line the street. Crime scene tape now surrounds the home on Strathmore Circle. Mount Dora police only saying it's actively engaging in the search for Nicole Baldwin. Gathering evidence top bottom of the house, digging through everything, taking pictures. A Facebook page has been established by people willing to help find her. Some have searched already and more searches are being planned. It's very unlike her to disappear without a cell phone or anything like I said. So Alicia says she just had a birthday and she and her mom were planning to go out to celebrate. She said an aunt summed it up best. Since my uh, sister-in-law has gone missing, uh, it seems like time has kept moving and I'm standing so that's exactly how I feel like I can't even really keep track of almost the dates anymore, you know, or anything. Now it's the Mount Dora Police Department that's taking the lead in this missing persons investigation with the Lake County Sheriff's Office offering crime scene support. Reporting live in Lake County, Dave McDaniel, West. Developing tonight, the search continues for this missing mother from Mount Dora. She seems to have just disappeared without a trace almost a month ago. And police spend hours outside of their home today. Fox 35's Deborah Cho is live in Mount Dora tonight. So, Deborah, you spoke with one of the daughters, and what did she have to say? Yeah, you know, John Luan, that daughter is telling me that she hopes that somebody out there has information on where her mom possibly is. I was out in the neighborhood today speaking with some people and they told me there was about a dozen law enforcement officers there in front of the home where Nicole Baldwin was last seen. Me talking, it feels almost surreal right now. You know, I never would have thought until, you know, I always watch all these crime shows and everything and until it happens to you, it's really like crazy. Just the feeling of not even that but like if something did happen how can i grieve if i you know how can i anything how can i just process the fact that you just up and disappeared alicia baldwin says it's hard to grasp the fact that her mom's been missing for almost a month now Mount Dora police say Nicole Baldwin was last seen on November 2nd after celebrating alicia's 20th birthday just the day before 
Alicia returned home a few days later to find that her mom has been missing. Alicia told me her mom takes medication for anxiety and depression. She says it's unusual, though, that she's been gone this long. My mom is not a very active person, so she's not one to be like, like for me, example, I, I go to the gym and stuff. She's not one to ever really do anything physical or even go on a run or a bike ride. Mount Dora police and Lake County deputies searched Baldwin's home for hours on Tuesday, even towing away a car. Baldwin's personal belongings were still in the home, including her phone, Apple Watch, and car. If you just have any knowledge or even maybe know if she would have went off somewhere, it would be really lovely to uh, tell me.